'Di ba? Ano anong isipin mo kung bakit nawala yung ABS? Kasi unang isipin, like majority of the people, 'di ba, isipin nila, ah, okay, kasi tila wag may ari niyan. Oh, yeah, oh. because that's how it's diba? perceived. Diba? Nakifactor din nun eh. Kung bakit nawala yung ABS. Ah, uh, actually doon ako Malapit medyo... na yung kampanya. Malapit na yung kampanya. Tatakbo pa presidente si Pacquiao. Yeah. Di ba? I mean, ano yun eh, ang daling, ang daling scapegoat eh. To be honest, yung hmm. yung dilaw ano, yung dilaw issue. Maybe it is ba, baka it's yun lang talaga. It is what it is. As in oh. hindi bayad yung taxes, meron silang reg- I I wish I know hmm. more about I, I I wish I know more of it. Did you guys watch the hearings? I I I heard some, pero hindi ko napanood lahat. Balita lang. I watched lang. the entire thing, man, like four Say hours yes? every Four hours? On YouTube, parang live share. Uh, and then it, it okay. gets recorded. Uh, and then, may, may mga ads lang. Pero, I mean, I just let it play uh, while I work. Mm. And then, again. <laughs> Where did you find out? Kung bakit na wala yung ABS? No, the first session, if that's what you call it, they were, they, there was this guy called Marco Leta, who's a congressman who raised like six points or five mm. about all the violations now. So mm. they've, they've, parang they have time, parang five minutes at a per congressman who want to mm. ask questions. Mm-hmm. And um, parang some people give their time. Yung parang before, sa mga Blue Ribbon Committee na parang, I give my time to Congress mga yeah, yeah, yeah. Honor, blah, 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 your honor. Uh, uh-huh. and, and then, uh, where, where was I? Um, <laughs> first section. Okay, the first, up, up till now, ang tinatanong pa rin nila is the citizenship. But that's just the first point pa lang. So, it's been three sessions, ah, and they brought out uh, Mr. Gabi Lopez na who's been very polite about the entire yeah. thing. Tapos yung, may mga times lang na, I, I, I found it interesting na, na, the first time they asked for Mr. Gabi Lopez to come, parang yun na nga, insinuate na, oh, the, the, <laughs> the bill, uh, the citizenship is, ano, 100%, 100% approved na Filipino siya because, his parents are ano Filipino and in Fili- mm. in the constitution if your parents are Filipino no matter where you're born you're Filipino mm. so but then there's mm. also the issue down na he's American mm. and the whole time everybody's allowed to say uh, whatever they want to say manifest so those congressmen na parang supportive of ABS getting its franchise back they're saying you have to let him because he's a Filipino, blah, 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 blah. And then when it was Marco Letta's time to speak, sabi niya, well, the issue is not whether or not he's Filipino because it's, it's known that he is because mm-hmm. of that, mm-hmm. what you just stated. Pero the issue is, according to the, the constitution, such franchises na parang, ano, may ties with the government, it gives them frequency. They have to be 100% Filipino mga mass media. Yeah. They have to be 100% mm-hmm. Filipino owned. And mm-hmm. he has two way. So it can't be 100% because mm-hmm. he, he's not both, he's not 200%. Yep, yep. So, yeah. parang yun yung naging issue. And then, everybody now, in rebuttal to that, the other congressmen are saying, but, if it's not against it, and it doesn't say anything about it in the constitution, then it's allowed. Mm-hmm. So parang yun yung kinocontest nila ngayon. And then some documents were raised na parang have yet to be presented as authentic, mga ganong klaseng bagay. But the, the point is, nag-move na sila sa second question. Mm. But it's taken this long just to get to the second quest, the second point. Yep. As six yung points. Mm-hmm. And, and what I want to get to is like towards the end. <laughs> uh-huh. yung, yung parang, the one I think, kasi parang iba medyo fallible eh, na pwede mong yeah, it's not KFC. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And then the other one, the one towards the end was like their, their treatment of their employees. Mm. Na, they, they're, they're, 11,000, but the BIR doesn't have that much 
with them, right. parang 2,500 lang. Yep. So the remaining 8,000 something, uh, they're, they're uh, parang endo. endo. And then some people mm. have come out, some people have come out and said, na, oh nga, I worked with them before. Uh, if you don't sign it, kasi next day you're fired na. Mm. Mga ganong classing stuff. And you're like, oh fuck. So, well, yeah, they, they did, they did do some dirty things, but who did it? Mm, parang yeah. the, sila lang yung first na nakasta na. Yep. Unless, ano eh. Parang, and I think, not to be partisan, but I think the government, I mean, you know, administration Duterte, I think this is like a part of his agenda talaga. Kasi he's been hinting at it eh. Mm. If you check from the past, lagi nang pag tinitreaten siya ng ABS. Lagi nang sinasabi mm. na, hmm, Pagtignan mo yung asa mo, parang yeah. maghintay ka lang, yep. maghintay ka lang, parang ganun <laughs> lang. Kata. Eh. Uh. Wala pa, parang sa kanya, hindi pa oras eh, wait lang. Yep. Yep. And then the fact na, I don't know, it's... Nah, he's a political genius. Yeah. Dude, that, That's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually makes sense. So, like, how I look at it, um, actually, the fact lang na yung in-open yun ni Marcoleta ba, na, I mean, I haven't heard of it, pero the idea na, o oh, sige, um, you're a Filipino and you're also a U.S. citizen. Pero the fact na you are running a media company in the Philippines, iba mm-hmm. yung gravity, somehow that mm-hmm. makes sense eh. Kung by law, hindi siya, I mean, by law, hindi naman siya nakasulat na... Um, that it took this long? Na, or that's not how it goes. Na as in legal naman yung, yung proceed, or legal naman yung case. Then it is what it is. Pero the idea nga na... Um, diba in open pa na um, do you remember yung Philippine you uh, Philippine American War um, 20 mm. ano ba 20 percent of um, or our uh, of Philippine army or Philippine population were killed during that time alam mo parang the idea mm. na um, pwedeng pwedeng magkaroon ng um, agenda of the American agenda pwede mong ma pwede mong ma funnel through uh, via Philippine media delix yun mm. i get that but again by law hindi yun yung nakasulat sa law. So, I get it. Baka may, may loophole. But the thing is, with the Lopez's, as much as I don't want to think about it that way, pero dude, how Rappler does their content, how ABS does their content when it comes to the administration, kahit na ayaw mong isipin na hindi sila partisan, uh-huh. medyo blatant eh. Hindi ba? Yeah, they're not, they're not hiding it. Eh. They're not. Parang, I think, it, there's also like, before I used to be yung parang so critical of everything, right? Mm. But parang, I, lately, parang nagiging fad na siya. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's cool to be against. And mm-hmm. it's like, these guys who have the sympathy of the general people and their op- opinions, they're riding on that. Yep. Parang, why, why don't you just address what the, what they're trying to say by, in, exactly. in parang violation of by, in law. Mm. Why have all these sympathetic things? Like, when I was, uh, Marco Leto was asking Gabby Lopez if it was such a big sacrifice for him to renounce his uh, citizenship to America. I, parang, para ipakita yep. lang na ang allegiance niya ay 100% Filipino. Mm-hmm. You know what he said? He he went on a parang, I think it must it must have been written by one of his ano, telenovela <laughs> show writers. Sc- screenwriters. Yeah. You know, he went like this. Ah. <sighs> Wait lang. This is not verbatim. This is just, <laughs> ano, I'm paraphrasing. Okay. Parang buhay ko po, hindi naman po ko, ano, hindi naman po na-raise ang issue na yan. Bakit po gina, nag-focus tayo sa isang technicality na accident of nature as a, mm-hmm. as because because mm-hmm. my father was studying in the Philippines at that time, in the Americas at that time. Yeah. So, bakit tayo mag-focus doon? Eh, buong buhay ko dito ako lumaki dito ako nag-aral mm-hmm. saglit lang ako nag nag college lang ako doon pero bumalik din ako dito mm-hmm. at hindi pa ba sapat yung tulong na binibigay namin sa ano sa taong bayan mm-hmm. as parang ano I, I, there are like two more sentences that I forgot yeah, yeah. and then Marco Leto was like Mr. Gabby Lopez kaya po tayo tumatagal dito kasi yung mga katanungan po sa inyo ay masasagot na yes or no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. then, kasi it's, it's his time eh. Yeah. He has five minutes. Yep. And then two people who are willing to give their time. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is pro-ABS. What yep. are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Good non-answer, huh? Mr. Gabby Lopez. 
Do- no, but eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nag, nag-ano lang siya, hindi po. <laughs> Imagine emotions, what is eh. feeling right now, no? Emotions get the Filipinos, eh. Ano yun, Miko? Go ahead. Sorry. Emotions get the Filipinos. It's always been like that ever since hmm. a ton of time. Yep. Hindi na tulad ng dati na parang 12-point plan, this is what I'm gonna do, mm. this is my belief system, this is this is how things are supposed to work. Yep. Dito parang, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I cheated on my wife, uh, inaamin ko na, please vote for me. Like mm-hmm. what happened to Binay, di ba? The day before, yeah. di ba? Sobrang taas ni Marojas, and then the day before, bigla niyang inaamin, oh, nabababae ako. And then everybody sympathized, oh shit, oh, he's so honest. Mm-hmm. He's just human. And then, nanalo siya. Programmed kasi tayo maging melodramatic. So, ang decision-making yeah. natin, ano, nanggagaling. Eh, mas, eh, kasi that's, that's what you see on, on TV all the time. Who, who, makes, who made us like that? Diba? TV. So, in mm. that light, I'm also thinking... TV. Ito, wow. I always, media. I always... Social media. Yung, diba, I told you, Miko, we were supposed to make this parang sketch show about how uh, smart mm-hmm. shaming is making the people dumber. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bakit ba nag start ang smart shaming? It's because of these phrases that Ay, people mali. learn mm. para may mabattle sila sa mga tao. Yeah, yeah. Nila lecture sila about something that they should know. Yep. You know, para yeah, yeah. And then, who who's propagating that? Mm. Is that the right term? Uh, I don't wanna, it's not propaganda, I mean that. Mm. Propagating, saying, yeah, yeah, I get it. Who's helping it grow? Yep. Diba? Yep. 